Anyi, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Where am I speaking to you? Me? Uh, I'm at home in Hong Kong. <laughs> and how's it been in Hong Kong in terms of coronavirus? How's it affected you? Oh, I actually I didn't travel for more than a year and staying in Hong Kong. I think my golden retriever was probably the happiest one. <laughs> <laughs> How's that been for you mentally, not being able to actually practice? And then at the beginning, I felt, oh, okay, I stay home, spend more time with my doggy and my family, so it was okay. But and then after, I think, few weeks, I started to get a bit like um, frustrated and really wanted to practice, so I get things a bit bored, so I started to watch some snooker videos so I can like practicing my mind. <laughs> Have you watched much of this year's World Championships? Yeah, 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 a little bit because uh, the earliest match, because the uh, the late match I couldn't watch because it's a light in Hong Kong. <laughs> in March of this year, there was an amazing announcement made. Yeah, I'm able to play in the tour. I have a, I have a tour card for two years so I can play as many as I can the uh, professional events. <laughs> Oh, this is absolutely a dream come true because I totally didn't expect this coming, especially after uh, quiet years with that much traveling and practicing. So I really hope the borders can open in time after the summer so I can learn and get the most out of this remarkable opportunity. What do you think this will mean for the women's game as a whole? I think snooker has always been a male sport. Uh, I think the media has a huge influence on how society views women. And there are more and more companies are making an effort to promote the diversity and equality and making noise. So I hope this can make the old views start to change. So especially this time, uh, the appearance ladies, I hope this can attract more younger generation to the sports. I think there will be pressure because uh, it's a new experience for me. But I think there will be pressure for them too, to playing with the ladies. <laughs> Do you think there's a difference between the men's and the women's game? I still remember uh, many years ago uh, when I played uh, in the exhibition with the professional players, my hand was shaking. I couldn't uh, play the normal game. I believe if we have um, more match opportunity to play with them, we can also in, improve our standard like them. Do you think one day you'll possibly inspire a future world champion that may be a woman, where they'll be interviewed in the Crucible and you say, how did you start? What made you begin? And they'll say, well, actually, I once saw Ong Yi many years ago. She was one of the very first women to do it. And now I'm stood here. Oh, I really want to do that. I really want to uh, be someone to say that. Because uh, sometimes I, I spend, when I'm in Hong Kong, I spend some time to uh, promote the sport, like going to school, doing some sharing with the students and introduce them to the snooker sport. So, yeah, I really hope I could be someone that can attract them to the sport. <laughs> well, Ong Yi, it's been a genuine pleasure to chat to you. Thank you so much for your time. And we can't wait to see you. 12 months time, we'll hopefully see you here. Thank you. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Thank you.